be the source, the ending of the things that are, that have been, and that future years shall see. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten, of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This is he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace. 
For the law was written through Moses, but the grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. <coughs> no one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of his Father, he has declared him.
the hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him on the right side of the altar of incense. When Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. <coughs> but the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer has been heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John, and you will have joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said to the angel, But how should I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel <coughs> answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day these things take place because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. And the people waited for Zacharias, and marveled <coughs> that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them, and they perceived he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned to them, but remained speechless. And so it was, as soon as the days of his service were completed, he departed to his own house. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she hid herself five months, saying, For the Lord has dealt with me when he looked upon me and removed my reproach among people. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. <coughs> and Mary said to the angel, But having seen him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also, that one who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her who is called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departs from her. Thank you. 
darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. You have multiplied the nation and increased its joy. They rejoice according to the joy of harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it in judgment and justice from this time forward even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Savior. For he 
has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. But he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy will be on all those who fear him from generations to generations. He has shown strength with his arms. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever.
John. And they all marveled. Immediately, his mouth was opened, and his tongue loosed, and he spoke, praising God. But a fear came on all who dwelt around him. And all these sayings were discussed throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all who heard them kept them in their hearts, saying, What, what kind of child will this be? And the hand of the Lord was upon him. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, who has visited and redeemed his people, who has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the hand, in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, in order that we can perform mercies that he promised our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, which he swore to our father Abraham, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of all who hate us, might serve him without fear and holiness and righteousness all the days of our life. And that you, child, you shall be called the prophet of the highest, for you shall go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way to share the knowledge of his salvation. And to share that we are being saved by the remission of our sins through the tender mercies of God. That the day spring from on high has visited us to bring light to those who are in darkness and who sit in the shadow of death. And to guide our feet in the way of peace. So the child grew and became strong in spirit. And he was in the deserts until the day of his manifestation to Israel. Take to you 
marry your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, that which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin will be with child, and bear a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. <coughs> there shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a, a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes, nor decide by the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness he shall come to judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins and faithfulness the belt of his waist. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and he took to him his wife Mary, and he named him Jesus.
pass in those days that a decree came out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. The census came out when Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, and into Judea, to a city of David, called Bethlehem. Because he was in the house and lineage of David, he went with his wife, Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And so it was that while they were there, her time came for her to be delivered. And she brought forth, forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloth and laid him in the manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And in the same country there were shepherds living in the fields, watching over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord surrounded them, and they were greatly afraid. And the Lord said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day, in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Boaz 
you got Obed by Ruth. Obed begot Jesse. And Jesse begot David the king. David the king begot Solomon by her who had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon begot Rehoboam. Rehoboam begot Abijah. Abijah begot Asaph. Asaph begot Joram. Joram begot Uzziah. Uzziah begot Jotham. Jotham begot Ahaz. Ahaz begot Hezekiah. Hezekiah begot Manasseh. Manasseh begot Amos, and Amos begot Josiah. Josiah begot Jeconiah and his brothers. About the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconiah begot Shelatiel. Shelatiel begot Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel begot Abu. Abu begot Eliakim. Eliakim begot Azor. Azor begot Zadok. Zadok begot Achim. And Achim begot Eliud. Eliud begot Eliezer. Eliezer begot Matin. And Matin begot Jacob. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. From David until the captivity of Babylon are 14 generations. And from the captivity of Babylon until the Christ are 14 generations. After the eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, they called his name Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now when the days of his pur pur purification, according to the law of Moses, were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, 